programming eight zero eight six to move a string. In order to move a string from one segment to another segment, we have to first define the input string. So create a data segment and define your input string. I have created my data segment with name YouTube. So I created segment like this YouTube segment. I have opened a segment with name YouTube. Then I define my input string. My input string is Hanuman. I am indicating that this string is of a byte size and I am using a variable name for this str1. So I define my input string like this str1 db Hanuman. Now in order to move a string from one place to other place or from one segment to other segment, I have to know what is the length of this string, how many number of times I have to move this string. So in order to do that, I calculated the length. The previous experiment which we have seen is that only. In order to calculate the length of the string, you have to use the command dollar minus string name. So I wrote dollar minus str1. So I got length of the string 7 will be written into the variable length and I am indicating that this length is also of a byte size. So I am allocating a byte of memory to store the length of this string str1. Now in order to move this string to another segment I have to create some space for that. So I am creating 7 duplicate values whatever the data that is available in the next 7 locations after storing uh, this input string, I am initializing them to the default values. So that can be done by str2, the name of the next string where you are supposed to move this. It is also byte size. I am allocating 7 duplicate values there. So it is just like your input string is Hanuman. It is, say assume it is in data segment now. And I want to move this to another place where I am initializing the seven locations. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So that like that I am creating five duplicate values so that this string will move there. Now, this completes our data segment. So, end the data segment. YouTube ends. Now come, come to the core segment. Here we will write how exactly the string will move. Uh, so in the core segment as usual, here I change the name of the core segment to Anu7, Anu7 segment. I am indicating this segment starts from 1000 memory. You can use any memory. If you don't want uh, any memory, you simply put 0000, 0, 0, 0, 0 or by default you take 0 only. If you want your code to start at 7000 memory. So ORC 7000H, that means the control knows that it has to go to 7000H location where your program starts. And these two steps you already know, these are in de uh, data segment initialization steps. Whatever the address of your data segment will be copied into AX and then it is copied into DS register. Now, coming to this uh, statement, we have an instruction called LEA, load effective address. What it will do is, it will calculate the effective address of this string 1 wherever the string 1 is stored in the computer's memory it will calculate its effective address effective address is also called as 20 bit physical address after calculating the effective address of this string 1 it will load that value into SI register so here it will store only the offset addresses not the segment base address so it is storing the address of str1 into si register. Now si will act like a pointer. This si will act like a pointer to the input string wherever the input string is stored. So right now si is pointing to the memory where str1 is stored. The first character in that str1 is stored. The first character in that str1 is h. So for example if this str1 is stored at 0000, 0, 0, 0 memory then there you can find H. In 0001 you can find A. 2 you can find N. So on like that. So this SI is acting like a pointer to the input string. Similarly, 
LEA DA comma SGR2 it will calculate the effect, calculate the effect of of SGR2 and this address is loaded into DI now DI will act like a pointer to this memory where we have created seven duplicate values after that the very important step is move CL comma length why we have calculated the length because I have to move the string from one place to other place how many number of times I have to move will be decided by the length of the string so I have calculated it already that value I am copying into CL CL is called as the counter register of H06 whatever the value you put in CL that many number of times the repetitions will happen so here we are going to move the string so how many number of times will be decided by the value in CL that's why I kept the length of the string in CL Seven number of times I have to move. First H, next A, next M, U, M, A, L like that. So put the length A, L like that. So put the length in CL and very important step here is CLD. Clear direction flag. This direction flag is available in the flag register of A086. This direction flag will decide whether to process the string in auto increment mode like I have started with H next A, N, U, M, A, N or if you set this direction flag it will process the string in auto decrement mode either the string will be processed like this or like this this is called auto increment mode this is called auto decrement mode if you, if you have cleared the direction flag it will copy first H there here next A how it, how it will go to A this SI will be incremented to next location DA will be incremented to next location A will get copy next SI will increment to the next location like this and DA will increment to the next location then N will get copy next U, next M, next TA, next TM like that right if you want to do manually we have to increment SI, decrement increment SI and increment DA in the program itself but here we have very important instruction REP move SB move SB means move a string of byte size it will move string of byte size like it will take H and move there next A and move there if you want to go for two characters at a time then put W here move a string of word size it will take H A N U M A and N null character like that so but we don't want to do that we would want to go for only string of byte size only so move a string of byte size the instruction available to move a string from one memory to another memory and I want to do this a number of times depending upon the length so repeat repeat move a string of byte size move a string of byte size and repeat this process how many, how many times I repeat this depending upon the value in CL and how I will move the string move like this in auto increment mode start with H next A so on up here so these three are very important. Move A, move CL gamma LM, CLD, REP, move SP. The logic of the program is this only. I want to move a string of byte size. How many number of times I have to do will be decided by this instruction. And how I have to do will be decided by this instruction. It will start with H and keep on incrementing. And once it reaches here, like this, once a day reaches this place, it will stop moving the string because the length is done CL is having only 7 so 7 number of times it is moving so this is how uh, we will work with moving a string we can move a string from one segment to other segment or one memory to another memory location with this logic <laughs>